Welcome back. Today I'm taking a look at the Raptor from Alpha Leather Company. Let's check it out. So let's take a closer look at the Raptor wallet from Alpha Leather Company. And no, I'm not really sure why it came with this tiny little crescent wrench right here. But regardless of the reasoning behind it, I still think it's kind of cool. So thank you very much for that. But let me give you guys a nice close up of the Raptor wallet from Alpha Leather Company right here. So this is a vertical style handmade minimalist leather wallet with two main pockets and a cash strap. And the two main pockets is held together with this leather flap right here. Alpha Leather doesn't state how much cash and how many cards can fit in the Raptor here on their website. So I'll be testing that out a little bit later on when I do the card test. It's made from an English bridal leather and available in five different colors. The color that I have right here is the rich brown color. And if I give you a close up on that stitching, that looks like a cream color stitching. Um, I didn't have a choice of the stitching color, but it looks like that's a machine stitch, not a saddle stitch. Which of course I would prefer a hand and saddle stitch, but they do offer a lifetime guarantee on this stitching. So I guess it sort of balances out. But I know if a wall is machine stitched, that's a big no-no for a lot of you guys. So take that into consideration if you're looking at the Raptor here. And as part of my initial quality test when I first receive a wallet, I always check to see if the edges there are burnished. And you can see this edge here and this edge right here are burnished, but I don't think they hit any of the pocket cuts right here, especially right here in the flap. You can see looking a little bit rough right there. So looks like it's burnished on the outside, but none of the actual cuts for the pockets are touched. And the only branding that I see is right there on the flap that actually is sort of hidden when it's tucked under that cash strap right there. And this is made of two pieces of English bridal leather. The main body is made of one piece and then the cash strap is the second piece. All right, let's talk dimensions. It comes in at three inches by 4.25 inches and that's measured vertically. And according to my weight test, it comes in at exactly one ounce that's 32 grams. And let me tell you guys, I really like the styling of the Raptor here. Just its design alone allows you to carry cash, cards, business cards, receipts in multiple different ways. So for me, that makes this a highly functional wallet just based on the different ways you can carry your cash and your cards. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. When you untuck the flap here, that opens up the quick access pocket right here with the thumb slot. Now, when I carried this wallet, I was keeping my most used credit card and my ID in this quick access pocket right there. And once you tuck the flap back in, the pocket is closed and you can see that thumb slot makes it very easy to get your cards in and out of this pocket here. But this is a pretty versatile pocket just because you can open it up pretty far. So you can stick more cards in there or you can stick cash in there, fold it in half. And you can see it fits in there very nicely. And then right behind this pocket right here, right dead center of the wallet is another pocket where you can stick your credit cards that you don't use on an everyday basis. So right there, I just stuck another four flat cards right there dead center. But the nice thing about this design here is this cash strap on the other end of the wallet that can also hold more cash folded in half. And you can see once it's tucked in, those bills are pretty secure in there. So this is why I say I like the design of this wallet because it allows you to carry your cash or your cards any way you want to. If you want quick access to your cash, no problem. Just put them in this cash strap right here. Don't want your cash exposed on the outside? No problem. Stick them in this pocket right here and fold it up. If you're not a cash carrier and you need to carry more cards, not a problem either. You can actually put more cards under that cash strap. So you see what I'm getting at, the versatility of the Raptor here is pretty phenomenal. Now, before I test out the max card capacity here, let me talk about sort of a missed opportunity. And that missed opportunity, at least in my opinion, is this center pocket and its cash carrying capabilities. Yes, I know you can carry your cash multiple different ways in this wallet as I just showed you, but I feel if you could still put your bills folded in half in the center pocket, that would have put it above and beyond. And let me show you what I'm talking about. This center pocket only opens up to this point right here where the stitches end and this point right here where that cut stops. And if I try to put my bills folded in half in the center pocket, you can see right there on the top just how much is sticking out. And there's a few ways to fix this. Maybe just push back this stitch point right here or just give us maybe another eighth of an inch 
of a cut right here on the bottom because being able to put your cash folded in half in the center pocket would be absolutely fantastic and would just give another layer of versatility to the Raptor. Now I'm sure if I crumpled my cash up and tried to squeeze it in there, I could. And yes, I understand you could still fold your bills into quarters and thirds and use that center pocket that way. I'm just saying my suggestion is maybe push this cut right here down a little further and now you open up that center pocket to put your bills in there, fold it in half. That's just a minor gripe that I noticed while I was testing out this wallet. But let's test out the max card carrying capabilities of the Raptor here. And I haven't really tried this yet. I'm gonna test it out for the first time on camera. But you can see this quick access card pocket right here is expandable just based on this design. Just because this flap tucks into this cash strap that acts as a tuck closure, once you start stuffing some more cards in there, it's just going to open up and open up and open up. So this should be able to carry a ton of cards. Right here is 10 flat cards. Let's just stick all 10 in there at once and Tuck it up there, yeah, 10 cards, not a problem. Let's get five more in there. I'm not even going to untuck that flap there. I'm just gonna stick them in right from the top. So there's 15 cards and look at this. That is a chunky wallet right now, but you can see the Raptor can totally handle that. So now let's try this. I'm gonna take all 15 out, put in five embossed cards in this center pocket right here. I'm just gonna stick those in first and then see if these 15 flat cards will go back in to this front pocket here. This is a little silly, I'm aware, <laughs> but look at this. So five cards embossed in that center pocket, 15 flat cards in that front pocket. And yeah, no one's ever gonna do this. But like I said, I wanna test out the max card carrying capabilities. Um, 20 might be a little crazy. Five cards in that middle pocket and possibly 10 flat cards in the front, that would be the max, I would say, to still have a somewhat workable, functional wallet. But regardless, you guys see what I'm trying to get at. This thing can hold a ton just based on this design of this flap and tuck closure and expandable wallet design. And just for the heck of it, this is 20 American dollar bills folded in half. And I wanna see this cash strap right there and yeah that's not a problem either look at that 20 american dollar bills folded in half not a problem so guys i'm really loving the versatility of the raptor here um you can carry cash carry cards in any one of these three pockets any way you want so the functionality here is through the roof but i do have a few negatives i already mentioned i sort of wish this was a saddle stitch and not a machine stitch but Yes, it does come with a lifetime warranty, which is a plus. So if you do bust one of these stitches, they'll probably just restitch it and send it back to you. But honestly, I hate sending in wallets for warranty work. That's not my most favorite thing to do. I would much rather just have a much stronger saddle stitch than a machine stitch. And the next thing is just a personal preference, a suggestion, not really a negative, but I sort of wish this piece right here was cut maybe another eighth of an inch down so you can fit American dollar bills folded in half inside of that center pocket. I would love to see that even though I wouldn't put cash there personally, I do like this cash strap right here, but like I said, it would just give another layer of versatility to the Raptor here. But before I end this video, I do have to talk about the price. I paid $81.99 for this wallet, basically 82 bucks. So I own many, 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 many handmade leather wallets from small companies that are 60, maybe 70 bucks tops. And those wallets are also made of full grain leather and are saddle stitched and a lifetime warranty. So it makes me wonder why this one is priced so high. And that reminds me, I almost forgot to do a smell test. All right. It basically has no leather smell at all. So the Raptor does not past the smell test, unfortunately. And other than that, that's basically it. I am loving the Raptor from Alpha Leather Company. This is one of my favorite leather wallets of the year so far. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. What do you think of the Raptor from Alpha Leather Company? And if anybody from Alpha Leather is watching this video, please let me know in the comments below why you give a miniature crescent wrench 
with your wallet. So I think this little guy is awesome. But if you wanna check out the Raptor for yourself, I will put a link down below in my description box. But if you did enjoy this video, please give me that thumbs up. Please subscribe. And go!